In this video, I'm going to talk about the QR factorization or QR decomposition. So we have a real square matrix A, and we are going to factor it into two components, the orthogonal component Q and the upper triangular component R. So the upper triangular component, it's clear, and by orthogonal we mean Q transpose Q is the identity matrix. So now there are several ways to compute this, and one of them is the Gram-Schmidt process that we're going to look at just now. So the Gram-Schmidt process is actually the process of orthogonalizing. So the way this works is we have A written out as column vectors, and then we're going to go ahead and take unit vectors uh, from A as so E1 is the direction given by U1 divided by the norm of U1 and U2 is given as A2 minus the first vector in the or, or the second vector in the direction of the first vector so we're basically subtracting off the component that is in the same direction as U1 so E2 is U2 over U2 and so we keep getting components which are orthogonal and soon we have a set of orthogonal vectors we are basically taking away the dependencies and then we are going to go ahead and do the QR factorization so the result in QR factorization A is broken up into these column vectors which is written out as the direction vectors E1 through EN and then the specific components are A1 in that direction of E1 A2 has a E1 component and a E2 component and AN has a E1 through EN component and this here gives you the directions and this matrix so this matrix here is upper triangular and these directions are orthogonal so you have an orthogonal times an upper triangular matrix QR factorization okay so let's do an example so you have the simple matrix here the Gram-Schmidt procedure is applied so you're gonna use A1 as 1, 1, 0, A2 as 1, 0, 1. So these are basically the column vectors, and these are transpose notice. And so we apply the Gram Schmidt as before. So we find the directions and we compute the independent individual vectors. And so you get Q as E1 through EN, which is, this is an orthogonal matrix right here of the directions. And you get R, which is the upper triangular matrix, giving you the vectors in those directions.